Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. Um, we did end up getting the ATV crafted yesterday, or overnight, sorry. Um, so we have that completed now. I do want to start working on the last and final stage of this. Uh, very excited, it's been a long time coming. Um, we need the seat and the electronics, which is one battery, four circuit boards, ten padded cloth, and four advanced mechanical parts. We don't need any of the heavy bolts this time, which is good, because we are going to need the zinc to make the vehicle battery, because we need six of the flashlight batteries for the weapon mod. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to do that at some point. Um, that is just a sunshine reflection yeah okay so I am gonna be turning on the mining drills because we are gonna need this stuff um, power is an issue so we do have at least one of the um, extractors sorry the um, oh dear what's it called the generators going in the on the first level of this space so there's that uh, we're going to need a lot of wood, guys, because I do want to finish up getting the um, pathway made out to the shore here. Um, I also want to get that dropped down by, you know, one level or whatever the case may be, so that we don't see that ugly thing protruding from the side of this wonderfully large, very, very pretty base that we've got going on here. I love the way the sunlight is in this game. Um, definitely love that. I love the fact that this rock is here. I think it's just the perfect uh, vantage point for checking out the base. I really do enjoy this building. Um, definitely. I'm glad we decided to build it on the water as well. It definitely gives it that protected sort of feel from any, you know, people that want to come by and kill us. So there's that. We need to get back down into the cave, get some more of the black crystal. So that we're able to do a few minor repairs before we need to get back down there and gra grab some more. Um, I say that because I really want to get these bases turned back on. I really want to, um, you know, have the the enemies to to have to deal with. I really enjoy that that part of the game. I know there are people that don't, but I really do. Um, if you hear that I sound sick again, it's because I am. Um, I've been feeling a bit off this week. That's why everything is delayed by one day. That's why there was the infected on Wednesday and this will come out on Thursday. Um, I've been sick most of the week, but that's okay. We will hopefully recover and not have to deal with this for too much longer. I do think that it's basically the weather here that's driving allergies through the roof, you know, um, sinus issues as well. It's very difficult to get used to weather when it's, you know, minus 23 Fahrenheit one day, 70 degrees the next week. You know, it's really difficult to deal with that. Uh, we did get snow and some ice the past three days. But um, next week they're giving nearly 70 degrees again. So, you know, how do you deal with that? But it is making for... Um, very difficult winter for me. I've been sick most of the winter, as most of you know. Um, I've dealt with the flu for a, about two months. You know, it was real difficult for me to get over that, and I still haven't fully recovered from that. Um, and now we have whatever these cruds are. So, yeah, there's that. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and continue looting today, grabbing a bit more wood, because like I mentioned, we're going to need the wood. We're going to need all the loot we can get, because we have had um, quite a bit of a a stretch here with no hunter bases we are desperate for loot at this point I would have already raided someone because we need to loot so badly um, I am very excited about the amount of nails that we've been finding lately very very much appreciative of that um, really do enjoy that we need those for building we have a huge base to build we still have a lot of building left to go um, I really want to, you know, finish up the roof, move all the wind turbines to the actual roof now that we've gotten the third story up and going, or partially up and going anyway. And there's a bear to my right. I'm trying to avoid him because I don't really want to have to deal with him. 
but I do want to get down here and see if there's any loot. Um, look on these bigger rocks for any type of ore. We're going to need a lot of ores moving forward. We're going to need a lot of zinc because if I read that correctly, you will need batteries to um, place those in the charger or whatever that's called, the vehicle charger thingy uh, for an emergency charge. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that we're going to need an emergency charge from time to time. So having zinc and potassium now is very important because that's how you make the batteries that you need. That's why I've never really found a use for potassium because we don't ever use the batteries. I have never, ever built a weapon light in this game. Ever. Yet. Uh, very hopeful that that changes pretty soon, but you never know, guys. I have never done that yet. And I'm not even sure why I would want to. I mean, it gets pretty dark at night, but we're always in the base by, you know, the time it gets really dark. Um, I know that some of you guys have suggested it over and over and over again. I do appreciate that. But, um, again, I'm not so sure we. it's something that we need at this point. Um, don't get me wrong. It is a nice feature in the game, you know, to have that weapon light. But it's not something, like I mentioned, that I'm sure that's useful for us in this playthrough. So, um, yeah, the heating and air man is supposed to come again today. I think he's been out about six times in the past two months. Maybe even more than that. And he still doesn't have our heating and air unit fixed. We have replaced nearly every single part on there, or on it, and we still don't know, you know, what's going on with it. There's only one part left to exchange, and he's supposed to be doing that today. So all of the sensors, all of the um, control panels, and all of that stuff has been changed. Um, you know, it still isn't working properly. So, yeah, he's supposed to come today. We've been dealing with that all winter, so it seems, and we've had to use some backup heat, which is like a little wood-burning um, stove in our house. Um, I do contribute that to some of the allergies, even though we don't use it very often. Uh, we've used it maybe three or four times this winter, but I have been sick more this winter than any winter that I can remember. Um, so we, we're not without heat, guys, by any means. Um, it's just... You know, we're so used to our central heating and air unit that it's very difficult to depend on anything else. I mean, we've had this since we've lived here, so, or for the most part since we've lived here. Um, but yeah, hopefully he'll get that completed today, get it fixed, get it, you know, going, running properly. I mean, it still works, it just kind of limps along, you know, like it's very injured. But it is what it is, so hopefully we can get that uh, completed today and get it fixed and all of that lovely stuff. Okay, so we do have a couple of shotgun rounds, which is nice because I do need some sinew to repair the bow. Um, we'll also need some um, sinew, I think, to repair the shotgun also. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know we need sinew, guys. We also need the fat from the, the cougars. That's not a bad thing either. You know, grabbing that fat. Um, my husband is also sick, so I'm not sure if he's brought home another germ from work or what the case may be, but he is sick as well. Um, he has been running a fever quite a bit, actually. And I have not had that issue yet, but, you know, there's always that time for it to spike, right? Okay, Cougar, we're going to have to kill you because... You're just going to have to stand still for one because, you know, we need you to do that um, so that we can do that. And then let's get this out and shoot you. One shotgun round. Very lovely. Let's go ahead and butcher this guy. Grab his sinew, his meat, hopefully some fat. Yeah, I'm not complaining about that. Six sinew, some meat, some fat. Very, very lovely. Um... We, I also found out some very sad news. Um, if you're not aware of, of Rob52, he, you know, hangs around, or used to hang around Tatman's channel. Um, he's always been in the comment section here for, for quite some time, you know. He really enjoys subsistence 
uh, really enjoyed subsistence. Um, but he has since passed. I did not know about that. Uh, very, very sorry to the family if they, you know, watch this channel and I've been talking about, you know, him wanting to see uh, certain things with the base. Um, but I was told by, um, I think it's Monkey, that um, Rob wanted to see that, you know, that it was one of the things that he had hoped for with the base was that, you know, we would get the the workbenches and stuff in the, the top of the base and light it up really nice with, you know, the um, glow sticks and things like that. So, um, from this point moving forward, that will be our main objective is to get that done um, after we get the ATV, of course. But, um, you know, getting that done will be the primary goal. Uh, we will not end this series until that is completed for sure, no matter how long it takes. If it takes us a while to get that done, it will just have to do. Um, Again, this base will also be dedicated to the memory of Rob 52, and I will try to include that at the ending of every episode. Uh, moving forward, uh, you know, just letting everyone know that, you know, this space will be in his memory, and hopefully that will help um, any of his friends, you know, hanging out and all of that, um, just to make sure that they know that we have not forgotten about him, and, you know, all of that lovely stuff. Um, again, I do send my my well wishes, my prayers, thoughts, all of that stuff to his family and friends, those that knew him best. Um, you know, my heart goes out to you guys. It's never easy to lose someone that um, you're very close to or anything like that. So, yeah, my heart, my prayers, and my thoughts go out to his family and friends for sure. Um, again, you know, we are we're gonna get those workbenches completed that will be the objective moving forward um, definitely after the the ATV we worked so hard to get that done um, and I really want to dedicate as much time as we need to to get the workbenches done properly um, I don't want to be interrupted when we're working on that uh, really want to make sure that that is done as you know, as efficiently and as appropriately as he would have wanted. So let's go ahead and try to kill this next cougar. We did reload the shotgun. Um, so we should have some ammo in there. Hopefully another one shot kill here. Um, it was, which is lovely. I mean, we do need the sinew. We can always use the sinew, the meat, the fat. We can always use all of this stuff. Um, Hopefully we can get home without dying. We are getting pretty hungry as well. I do have some protein bars that we can eat. I do have some of the chutney that we can, you know, snack on. And I also have some water that we can drink. So all of that stuff is lovely. We are grabbing some fat for biofuel because we are desperate for it, guys. There's no two ways about it. We are desperate for biofuel at this point. Um... Iron and zinc is our top priority as far as the ore is concerned. We have lots of copper that's not been smelted. But we don't have a ton of um, iron and zinc. And in this game, it's not called smelting it. It's called refining it. We don't have that completed yet. But we do have tons of it that we can work with. There's a chicken down there just running away. I'm not sure what it's doing. At Ooh, in the cold weather. Like that. Um, I really didn't intend to try to kill another one of these guys, but, you know, when in Rome, right? Oh, dear. When in Rome, we run away. Okay. Um, well, we definitely have his attention. I don't like killing them on the hillside like that. Um, mostly because that always happens. I always end up getting injured. And using more ammo than necessary to kill him. Or her. Um, we have quite a bit of meat, quite a bit of sinew now, some fat. Very, very lovely. Um, we do need to reload the shotgun. We've used most of our shotgun ammo today. That's okay. We'll hopefully grab some more and some crates. Um, that would definitely be nice to have. Okay. So now let's get down 
back down toward the base because I want to make sure that we're not losing power with everything we have running in the base currently. Um, that's a lot of nails. 53 nails in about half of a day. Um, that's lovely. The loot is pretty good lately as well. I'm very excited about that because we are desperate for loot, guys. We don't have the enemy bases to deal with and to loot. A blueberry and an electrical part. I'm very glad that Beach Bum talked me out of um, recycling a lot of the electrical components in the very beginning of this series. I honestly thought we had way too many. And I was going to recycle um, a full stack of them. I did place them in the, the crate that we have to be, re you know, to be recycled. And she's kind of said, you know, I do think you might regret that later. Um, you know, hang on to them for a bit. And I ended up hanging on to them. And, you know, we are definitely going to be needing those. They're not too difficult to get, but I'm glad that, you know, we do have them on hand. Okay. So, there's the barrier back there that we don't want to have to deal with. There is a shadow on the ground there. And a plant fiber just here, which is lovely. We are going to need the plant fiber to make some fuel bricks. I think, no, we have fuel bricks. I think we have about 30 fuel bricks now in the base. Or close to that number anyway. Um, so I'm probably not going to be crafting any more right now. Unless I see that we honestly just don't have that many. Um, they do go down fairly quickly. Um, 30 will last about a month. You do use um, quite a few of them if that's your sole source of fuel for the fire. Okay, let's just do that. Grab the meat, grab the fat, grab the cloth. Okay, let's grab the plant fiber here, the blueberry there. And come on, we can do this. I know you're probably tired from all that running and the adrenaline from, you know, killing all the animals, but we've got to keep going. We're almost home. Okay, um, there's one more crate that I do see. I want to wash my hands first. Maybe I saw a crate over here. Maybe I didn't. I thought there was a crate over here. Did I miss it somehow? Was it a plant fiber that hadn't spawned in properly or a cheaty little um, bush because you know that happens too down here it's not necessarily the ferns that cause all the issue but these little bushes um, I do like the way they sound I don't think there's that particular sound on the northern end of the map I may be completely wrong about that but I don't recall seeing these bushes up there unless that's something particularly only available here in this on this side of the map you know that's also a probability um, let's get in the base, drop off the things in the fridge that are going to, that are going to go bad. Uh, we'll take the potatoes with us as well. And I want to get some more replanted here, so there's that. Um, we're doing pretty well with the potato stash. We need to start crafting some alcohol with them as well. Um, 24, we need, um, 5 for sure. And 2 more seeds nothing too crazy i did just hear the fire go out which is not um unexpected we did forget to top that up before we left but that's okay we're doing really well with oh dear we're doing really well with meat um this piece of chicken is gonna have to go i'm just gonna have to you know start the fire again let's see how many fuel bricks we do have we have over 30 which is lovely let's do that let's um, ignite. Let's drop the fat. Drop the piece of chicken. Let's put these potatoes and blueberries away. And the one carrot. We have 134 potatoes, which is nice. Um, I do enjoy having that available. We're going to drop you in here. And the cotton seed over here as well. Hopefully we don't see that we have a ton of potato seeds, which um, we didn't really need to craft very many. But that's okay. Um, not a big deal at all. Okay, so we have a couple pieces of biofuel that we did get today. Do we have any extra here that the fire that we need to grab? Um, render fat. We have a couple pieces, but not a big deal. Um, we don't have time to go downstairs since we are cooking the piece of chicken. It goes relatively quickly as also. So I do want to just hang out up here and make sure that the chicken doesn't burn. Um, we could always have a piece of meat here. 
and maybe a tomato that would be lovely and we do need to top up the um, protein bars in our inventory we need to grab some more water and things available there we have a piece of chicken um now what are we going to do with the piece of chicken we have a low-grade piece of rabbit meat as well but that's not really helping anything cooking that like that we'll just put you over here right beside the tomato a piece of fried chicken uh, maybe we can cut up a tomato find a piece of bread you know make a chicken sandwich okay so let's put the wood here let's put the plant fiber away we need to drop away the um, electrical parts and some nails scrap cordage cloth um, we also have another pickaxe if ours breaks which is very possible that it's going to pretty soon Hopefully, anyway, that means we found quite a few ores if um, if it breaks pretty soon. Sinew is nice. Um, Biofuel goes somewhere else. The ores and all of that goes somewhere else as well. It's pretty noisy in here. We have a tiny bit of fuel left. Well, not now, we don't. We're going to have to just drop that into here. And we're just going to turn you off, and you're not running. So we have two, or had two, going. Okay, so the best thing to do here would be turn this one off. Add the fuel here. Turn this one back on. Let that generate some power. And we're going to start working on um, getting some of these ores completed um, as much as possible anyway. Let's put the iron away. We don't have any more zinc. Um, copper, we need to start refining some of that also. I might have to build a second refinery just because. But hopefully after we get the ATV built, we won't need to repair it too often. And hopefully it won't be that much of a, of a deal to get that done. Um, we do need to craft an advanced mechanical part. I'm not sure what all it does take, but I am going to grab a bunch of stuff. We don't have enough copper. Let's get over here and see how much we have in the crate. Um, hopefully that's enough to at least get one going. And we have some more refining here, so that's quite nice, actually. Um, we do need to top up our water canteen because it is completely empty. Let's go ahead and get that crafting, put everything else back in here. Because we don't need it all on us. In the event we die. Okay, so, water, top that up. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get back upstairs while that is making its noisy you know, part. And um, let's put the water in the fire to get cooking so we can get that purified. And then we're going to head back out and do just a very, very quick loop um, just right around, you know, this area because it is getting dark. The sun is starting to set. Um, probably don't have a ton of daylight left, but that's okay. Um, do want to get as much loot as possible each day. Um, finding some ores would be very nice. Um, there's a wolf up here. We could always grab some more uh, biofuel. Um, that's not a wolf. That is a level 1 black bear. We'll take the plant fiber anyway. We're just going to let the bear do its thing. Maybe he'll run away. Okay. Um, not really seeing any loot over here. Well... There's that. I always find that even though I know that I don't have a lockpick, I still end up, you know, clicking on them a bunch of times just to make sure that they're not unlocked. Okay. Uh, another plant fiber here. So even if all we find is plant fiber, it's still pretty decent loot. Um, we do need it for fuel bricks, like I mentioned already. Lovely, lovely waterfall here very very pretty i love the way the sunlight is reflecting on that um it's very very nice i do enjoy that my mom also enjoys those if you have not been around the channel for very long um my mom watches every episode of every series that i do put out so she's been my biggest supporter through all of this um it's very nice to have your family you know supporting you as much as possible and it's very nice to have you guys here as well. Um, we are slowly gaining a few su um, subscribers. We gained a couple, I think, this week. Um, 
it has been a bit slow and usually at the ending of these series like this when it's time to restart a series or time to move on from a series um you'll see the subscriber count drop off um, quite dramatically and i've seen that already we went from getting about 50 a month to you know about 20 a month so there's that um come on don't get in the water with the wolf because he will kill you in the water okay let's do that grab his ma his meat i'm sorry his meat and his fat and hopefully he would have had some cloth but it doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, we do have tons of it back at the base. It's not that big of a deal. But at least we got out and got some um, biofuel anyway. Or what will be biofuel at some point. Um, very, very soon. We do need it for the base. Because we need to keep everything going as smoothly as possible. And it is getting very dark already. As you can see, it's very difficult to see underneath the trees like this. There is a crate just up here I want to grab. And then we're going to start making our way back home. I don't want to be out when it gets too late because I can't see very well. Um, that would be the point where the weapon light would be handy, but it's not something that we've used at all this series or last se season either. So, uh, again, not probably not going to be building it anytime soon or crafting it anytime soon. I wanted to get that done last season. Um, however, I didn't get to get that completed. But it is what it is, and it'll be okay. We'll try to get one done before we end this season. If not, there's always next season. Our Bravo base was just over here. I, I was very pleased with where the bases were before they all got reset. And before the, ne the need for the Black Crystal came up. And we just went ahead and, um, you know, turned off the Hunter bases until we got the crystal from the cave because that was a ton of ammo that we didn't have and didn't really see a way to get that much ammo that quickly to be able to stay down there um, but we are definitely going to be turning those guys back on very very soon okay so let's get back into the base i'm just going to drop off the rest of the salute i'm going to work on um, seeing what we need to get done for the atv hopefully and yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it a day here guys i'm just gonna run back in the base and do all of that stuff overnight and we'll pick it back up here tomorrow and i want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today i really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you're looking forward to future episodes and i can't wait to catch you guys in the next one until then have yourselves a wonderful wonderful day